Did y'all see this story? Some woman, some woman posted a TikTok video. Let me read to y'all what happened in the video. And I'll show a, a segment of it to you for a second. But in the video, the woman records herself dressed up, donning sunglasses as a date pulls up to the restaurant. The date gets out of the car to open her door. However, her reaction takes an unexpected turn when she realizes that the destination is none other than the Cheesecake Factory, a popular chain restaurant. I like Cheesecake Factory. I love the popcorn, shrimp, stuff like that. At least you used to love it. Shrimp scampi and all that stuff. I used to love all that, but that's, I digress. The woman, the woman obviously was unimpressed, okay, with her snobby ass, all right? She was snobby. I'm sorry. It's the truth. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the video. She literally says, he got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out of this car. First of all, what the hell is wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? Ain't nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Ain't nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. That's number one. Number two, not only is there nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, the Cheesecake Factory ain't that damn cheap. You know, you can't go up in there and, and spend $12. It costs, it, it, it costs you to get a meal and stuff like that. You know, you're going to pay over $80 to $100 for, for, for dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. So let's throw that out the way because that's important, all right? By the way, I hear they have great salmon too. I hear they have great salmon as well, okay? I personally like the chicken sandwiches myself, myself. My point is, What's the problem with the Cheesecake Factory? This girl goes on. She refuses to exit the dude's car and locks the door. This dude is struggling to get back in his own damn car. His own damn car. She's visibly upset, finally rolls down her window and confronts her date about their choice of venue. She goes on to express her disdain for a chain restaurant as a first date location and questions why he would take someone who looks like her to such an establishment. Quote, look at me. Look at me. I cannot go into a cheesecake factory. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all don't believe me? Take a look for yourself. I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said. understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. You see, there are a multitude of ways to keep your ass single. To keep yourself without a man. This is one of them. I want y'all and I'm going to try to find this video for you. I'm going to try to find it. You know what the video is going to be of? It's going to be of Eddie Murphy in stand-up. Remember years ago, some of you young whippersnappers wouldn't remember this stuff, but years ago, probably in the 80s, right? Eddie, 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 Eddie Murphy, the great Eddie Murphy is doing stand-up. And he's talking about how. He been aching to get this girl. He been aching to get this girl. He want a bad, want a bad. He want to get with her. She's like, ah, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I just feel I need to wait. He's like, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. And then all of a sudden, he get with her. And she says, I'm yours. He's like, fuck you. Remember that? Go look it up. I don't know if it was delirious or raw, it was one or the other, Eddie Murphy. That's what he did. Why does that story resonate? Because it's a level of thinking that withstands the test of time. See, when you see Eddie Murphy saying that, it's relatable to men everywhere, no matter what age they're living in. A snobbish, uppity, Entitled, privileged thinking woman. Rash Buescher from Norbit got a better chance of getting a man than her. 
Rash Spucia from Norbit, the movie Norbit, that starred Eddie Murphy playing multiple characters, including her, got a better chance of getting a man than a girl like that. Oh, you could see why she's on a date and she don't have a man. Now, the dude ultimately, as the debate intensified, she was talking about how she expects him to go all out on the first date. Why? You want to be courted and all of that stuff. See, me, it's about consistency. Treat a woman as consistent as you possibly can. Not putting your best foot forward and then watching the relationship disintegrate and erode as time goes on. No. Maintain consistency or elevate and embellish. One or the other, regression is not an option. But this girl, anything would be aggression, a regression. Do you know why? Because ladies, and tell me if I'm wrong, I know the shade room is going to be listening to this. I know the view is going to be listening to this. I know the talk is going to be listening to this where I appeared on that show. Thank you, Cheryl Underwood and, 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 and Akbar and everybody else for having me on the show the other day. But I know they're going to be mentioning this too. Ladies, tell me if I'm wrong about this. Tell me if I'm wrong. Your constant embellishes. You don't stand still. If you got a couch, eventually the couch is old. The dude is sitting up there. He comfortable. It's broken in just right. He's fine. and don't need change. You want it changed. Kitchen looks beautiful. Stove is working. Oven is working. How come we can't get a new kitchen? The house looks nice. Why can't we remodel? The basement, same old man cave. It's his. He entitled. They might let you keep the man cave, but they ain't happy about it. They damn sure ain't trying to spend time with you down there because it's the same old, same old. That's women. And I'm saying that's okay. So long as you admit it. And if you're willing to admit that and you're normal, imagine what this girl is going to do to any man that chooses her. She talking about what she deserved without even knowing him. What is she going to think she deserved once she knows him? Is that the kind of woman you can rely upon if you go broke? If you lose your job, if struggles and hardships and trials and tribulations come down the pike, is she going to be that rough rider? Is she going to be that ride and die? Is she going to be that one that's there for you? Is she going to look at your potential and go like this? This is just a setback for the comeback. Is she going to be that? I'm telling you, most of y'all are. That's the beauty of y'all as women. See, Stevie A know this. Because I was raised by five women. I know who y'all are. I know what your potential is. I also know some trifling, selfish ass person when I see one. And I'm telling you right now, that honey, you better change up. And by the way, I'm not calling you trifling. I'm just talking about what you did in the video. I don't know you, so I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to castigate you and, 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 and label you overall as your character. I'm only talking about the video you put out. That was trifling. No man should want your ass. Not for anything but a fling. Because when you act like that and you got the nerve to publicize it on video, you done heard me talking about Jada now, right? What have I said about her? I ain't talking about her actions. I talked about her publicizing them. That date is your business. Why are you posting it on video? He didn't ask you to do that. He didn't ask for permission to do that. He didn't ask to be paraded all over social media. How about respecting the brother? You respected him enough to get in his car. You respected him enough to give him a chance to take you out on a date. And according to what I'm reading, wasn't you the one that said, so you're just going to call it a night? Sounding defeated, you still wanted to go out. You just didn't want to go where he was willing to take you. Weren't you hungry? You ain't never ate Cheesecake Factory? So let me get this straight. You a black woman. You never ate McDonald's? That wasn't a date. But don't tell me you never ate McDonald's. Don't tell me you, ever ate, you never ate Burger King. I saw you. You didn't look bad. Not by a long shot. I'm mean, giving you credit for that. But you also don't look like somebody that just eats a salad either. You look like you had some burgers. You look like you had some steak. Come on now. I mean, come on now. I'm just being real. You know that. So don't act like it. I mean, you should be acting like that. Period. 